Okay, class, um, this is our orientation session for MAT 0018 Developmental Math 1, Fall 2015. This is a eight-week course. It's half of the semester. The day that this class ends, the very next day, I have another online class that starts. So it's really, really important that we uh, stay on task and get everything done because your semester is a lot shorter than um, a traditional 16-week class uh, which you're probably more used to, or maybe you're not, because this might be your first semester in college. So, let me just try and make this a little smaller. Okay. There we go. All right, so I'm going to start with the main screen. What you see here is your announcement page, and what I typically do is whenever I post an announcement, I also send it as an email, and my hopes are that between your email and logging into your course, you get the messages that, you're, um, that you need. <clears throat> as you can see, the first one was your welcome email slash syllabi, as well as your schedule of due dates. You're going to want to go ahead and print those. Um, that's pretty much what I'm going to always fall back on. No matter, sometimes uh, the online course, for instance, somebody texted me this morning saying the competency check dates were past due, so I had to fix them. Um, always go by what's on the paper. If, if you don't see what's on the paper, let me know because then that means I have to go in and fix something. There's a lot of places to make edits in these online courses, and sometimes I might make them in two or three places, and I forget the fourth place. So just help me out and uh, let me know if something's not working out for you correctly. The sooner you let me know, the sooner I can help you fix it or the sooner I can fix it myself. So I think one of the most important things to look at is the schedule of due dates. First, because that is kind of the basis of the entire course. So I'm going to go ahead and open that. And I have a lot of things on my computer, so it might be running slow a little bit. Like this, for instance. Okay. So what we have here is um, the Word document that you guys, again, should have printed by now going to close this off so the screen can be bigger. Okay, and you can see that tomorrow, which is my 10-year wedding anniversary, September 3rd, um, tomorrow you guys have a couple of things that are due. And basically, these three assignments aren't math involved. Thank you very much. Um, these these three assignments don't involve any math knowledge. This is all about you being able to navigate your system properly, making sure your computer is working properly, and hoping that you guys um, start chatting with each other. Because this is your class, even though you don't see each other in person, that doesn't mean you can't make friends or text each other, email each other, ask each other for help, the same way you would do if we were in a regular class. Also, in the 12 years that I've been teaching math, I have found that if you cannot do these three assignments in the first few days, you really do not belong in an online math class. And that would kind of be a hint to me and to you to let's get you switched out to a face-to-face -face class where you will be more successful. Um, I do not want to see anyone be unsuccessful, so if I notice some habits that are not going to promote good grades in an online class, I'm going to suggest that you take a face-to-face. -face. And like I said, I found that if you're able to complete these three assignments in a couple of days, you're usually pretty good. I can help you with the math, but I can't help you really with your schedule, right? Making sure that you're making time for class and stuff like that. So again, if these three assignments are not complete, um, you can either withdraw yourself, um, by September 8th, you get a refund, or you can just drop this class and add another one. You may have to go to the math department to do that um, because classes have started, so they may have to enter, your, you, enter you into a class on their own. You may not be able to do it through Atlas, but either way, I want you to be where you belong. Okay, um, now what you're going to also notice is that even though this stuff is due Thursday, Sunday, which is the 6th, which is only a few days later, 
your entire chapter one and two is due. Now, <clears throat> um, I want you to keep in mind that these are just homework problems. They're not um, significantly difficult. It's mostly whole numbers, adding, subtracting, multiplying, dividing, things like that. And chapter two, we got some positives and negatives in there. And I'll show you guys some tricks today on how to deal with that. Um, these have a deadline, okay? Whereas your competency checks, you can work on those as much as you want all the way until the end of the semester. So if you're in like a time crunch and you're trying to decide what's most important, make sure you get your homework and your quizzes done because those have um, deadlines, right? And your quizzes you can only take twice. Um, they're timed. Your homework is not timed. You can take it as much time as you want, but they do have deadlines. Whereas your competency checks are due at the end of the course. You can take them as many times as you want. There's no time limit. There's, you know, things like that. Okay. Do you have any questions so far? Okay, so if you, and so what I would do is I would um, go ahead and put some major dates in your calendar, whether it's your phone that you keep your calendar in or if you keep a regular calendar, because you don't want to miss some of these big deadlines. For instance, the 8th, like I said, is the refund deadline you might want, because it may not be my class, maybe it's another class you want to get your money back for. Um, also, you have a midterm that's due by October 4th. Okay, you may want to put that in your calendar. You have a withdrawal deadline by October 9th. And honestly, I would hope that if you withdraw, you talk to me first because I may tell you, hey, you still have a chance to make it. Don't withdraw. But if you feel like you're not going to pass and you want a W instead, it does affect your financial aid. So you should definitely speak to someone before you make a decision like that. But at the end of the day, it is your choice. You could do that by the 9th. And then your final exam is due at the end of the semester. The last possible day to take your final exam is October 22nd. Now, I know this says 11.59 p.m., but keep in mind, the Valencia testing centers do not stay open till midnight. Okay, so keep that in mind. So you just want to make sure you have those um, dates in your calendar. So let's see what else I have here. I also have your welcome email, which... Um, Pretty much was just telling you guys what to get started on. Um, I'll just kind of read through some of it. I don't know if I mentioned this, but um, I was the math coordinator on the Osceola campus for about nine years. Um, <clears throat> I know a lot about financial aid, advising, um, transferring, direct connect, your books, refund, you know, all that kind of stuff because I worked in the math department, the dean's office for so long. Um, now I only teach, but obviously I still have all that knowledge. I still know who to talk to for what. So if you guys need any help or have any questions that are maybe outside of math, don't be afraid to ask me. I, I might know the answer. I probably know the answer. Um, I have the book information here. Um, it is a good book. It's only 30 bucks. It's, it's part workbook, part book. If you need the resource, if you need to look at and touch and something, go ahead and get it. Your assignments don't actually come from the book, though. It's, your book is pretty much just a resource. More examples, answer keys, things like that. Um, if you need help with Blackboard, there is a Blackboard course that teaches you about Blackboard, but I think that I can pretty much show you everything you need to know about Blackboard. This is the website you're going to use to log in. Once you get there, you're going to go ahead and put your Atlas username and password in. And let's talk about grades. This is the most important part. I want to make sure you guys understand it completely. Um, there's several components to your grade and it's broken up pretty fairly, I would say. Class engagement is about 15% of your grade. There's a couple assignments that go here. One of the first ones is your intro videos or picture statements. Uh, where I ask you guys to either upload a video or a picture of yourself and three facts about yourself. You are also required to comment on at least two classmates posts. So you have to have three posts total to get full credit. So that's your first one that's considered an engagement. You have two time management projects. So it's one project, but I broke it up into two parts. Um, your binder, a.k.a. portfolio, a.k.a. study tool, um, and your final exam discussion. 
Um, so there's not many to things, but they're non-math assignments that involve a little more communication, typing, those kinds of things. There are nine quizzes that are due at the end of the semester. Okay, so I lied earlier. Earlier I said they had deadlines. The quizzes are due at the end of the semester, two attempts each, and they're timed. So keep in mind, once you start a quiz, make sure you have enough time to finish it because once you submit it, that's it. You got one more chance left. If you start it and the rice starts burning and you go check the rice and the time runs out, that's it. Two attempts. So do not hit start unless you have enough time to finish them. Um, your competency checks, on the other hand, you can, which again is a fancy name for a quiz, but I don't call it a quiz because it doesn't feel like a quiz. It's due at the end of the semester. You can try them as many times as you want, and they are not timed. Okay, so the quizzes have a little more pressure because there's only two chances and they're timed. Okay, your homework assignments. There are about 53 total homework sections. There are deadlines, however. Okay, so so far the quizzes and the competency checks don't have deadlines. The homework does, so you want to make sure you stick to the deadline because I'm not going to extend it. Um, they're not timed, however, and you can, again, try those as many times as you want. So I'm trying to give you some mixed opportunities, some with a little more pressure and less attempts, some with less pressure and unlimited attempts, and I kind of mix it up a little. You also have a review for your midterm and for your final. Each are worth 5% each. is basically a test that looks just like your midterm and a test that looks just like your final. So you should take it right because now you know what's on the real thing um, these reviews you can be can be taken at home both of them both of them you can have unlimited attempts both of them are not timed. that's an easy 10% of your grade right there okay your midterm itself is 10% of your grade it has to be taken in the testing center it is timed you only get one chance and there are no calculators you really should be doing all your homework with no calculators, but I also know I can't control that. But I can control it when you take the midterm and when you take the final. The final, which is the biggie, is 25% of your overall grade. It also must be taken in the testing center, and you only get one chance as well. It's a 40-question test. It is not multiple choice. Um, and basically, your goal is to, no matter what grade you get on the final, your overall average does not drop below a C. So that's how you pass. At the end of the semester, with all assignments accounted for, completed and incomplete, that you still have a C. Okay? Any questions about that part so far? Pretty much the same questions. Now, it's not going to be 2x plus 3 on the midterm and 2x plus 3 on the final, but it might be 2x plus 3 on the midterm and 5x plus 4 on the final. So they're really, really similar. Okay, so if you, trust me, if you do the reviews, you will feel more than confident for the real thing. Okay, um, the same is true for the competency checks. The competency checks actually are this part right here. This is actually the final exam broken up into 10 different chunks. So between the reviews themselves, and these competency checks, you will have seen the, the final exam. Okay. Um, again, last day to take your finals, October 22nd. I have another class that starts Friday, um, October 23rd. You have to take it in the testing center. I can't tell you how many students every semester email me or text me and say, I can't take the final. It says I need a password. Well, duh. You're supposed to be at the testing center. The testing center is putting in the password. You do not get to take that test at home. <laughs> it happens every semester. No lie. And sometimes I think I'm talking to myself. But anyway, it's not usually the whole class. It's usually like one person. But um, anyway, so let's see here. Again, we got those three assignments, the video introductions, the practice assignment, and the syllabi quiz. I'm sorry, guys, the syllabi quiz link was not working the other day. It should be working just fine by now. Um, as I mentioned before, refund deadline is the 8th. And these are just some things to make sure you um, make sure you do. Okay. So let's look at the actual class. Let's go to those first three assignments, which are in um, Learning Module 0, start here. 
So we're going to go there first. Okay. As you can see, I also have the email and the schedule of due dates here. So if you missed it in the announcements, here it is again. Make sure you print it. Um, you have your syllabi quiz here, which once you click on it, you have to actually hit begin. And once you hit begin, you take the quiz. It's a short quiz. It, it's more or less checking to see if you understand what's expected of you. Um, let me go back to learning module zero. Okay, we have your discussion, which you should post your um, intro video and or picture statements. I'm going to upload mine today. I'm going to try and um, motivate myself to brush my hair and put some non-pajamas on. <laughs> um, <laughs> or maybe I'll just use a whole bunch of pictures and make a PowerPoint. I'm not sure yet. Um, so let's see, I can see that you guys are in there, which is great, 47 posts. So today I'll be uploading mine and responding to you all because I like to get in on the conversation as well. Very good. I can see you guys are doing great. Don't forget, um, in addition to posting your own information, you should at least comment on at least two classmates or more. The more the merrier, right? If you do only a lot of times students post their own and they never talk to anybody. Well, they don't get full credit. And then they look at me like I'm crazy. It specifically says at least two other classmates. OK. And the third assignment is actually you have to actually get to your practice homework assignment by going to the iMathAS homework link. And you got to click on that part. Usually you get asked um, how you want to display it. Let's see if mine does it. Okay, mine went straight to the homework because I've been logged in already. But a lot of times you'll get some buttons over here that'll say force image based display. It's about the fourth button down. You want to click that one and hit login. So once you're here, this is pretty much all your homework for the whole semester. You guys can work ahead. If you feel like, hey, I know how to multiply decimals, then keep going. Don't put it off. Trust me, things happen. You know, um, the, these eight weeks go by really fast. If you're done your stuff for this week, start next week's work. There's nothing wrong with that. OK, the, the sooner, the better. Um, something I want to point out to you guys as well is um, I believe. And my dog is outside barking. Oh, right here. You can see, you see where it says extra help? If you, if you open that up, there's several videos here. So not only are there videos in your um, Blackboard course, but everywhere where you see this extra help link, there's several videos here. So if you're having trouble with positive and negative numbers, you want to go ahead and um, do this part right here. Hold on real quick, okay? I need to see what's going on out there. Okay, false alarm. And I'm just going to keep scrolling. And I'm going to look for those extra help buttons. There's decimals, extra help. So they look like they're at the end of every homework section. There's an extra help videos. So these are, they should be, if I'm not mistaken, different from the videos that are in your Blackboard course. So you got any questions so far about the iMathAS part? This is also, this is your homework if you scroll through. It's also, if you get all the way to the bottom, because there are six chapters, if you get all the way to the bottom, you should, oh, there's eight, my bad. There's a lot more than six. It used to be six, but they broke it up. Here we go. The competency checks. So 
Um, your competency checks in here, and I don't know why they're red. They shouldn't be red. Um, your competency checks are all here. Your midterm review and your midterm is here. And your final exam review and your final is here as well. Okay? Um, again, your midterm and your final have to be in the testing center. They have passwords, so you can click on it all you want. Nothing's going to happen. Um, and the reviews, you guys can start as soon as you want. Okay? Uh, let's see here. I think that's it. So as you can see, there's a lot in iMathS. That's where a lot of your work is. So let's go back to... Oh, I clicked on the wrong thing. Let me get back to my class. I clicked on the wrong button. Sorry, guys. Yes, there is a lot of work, which is why I say don't wait until the last minute. Um, and a lot of it is just, it's like homework problems. You know, there might be 20 homework problems. So just don't wait till the last minute. And they are broken up. Like some of these chapters I would have actually put together, but that's just the way um, they did it. So I'm just going to click on the first chapter just to kind of show you. Um, what each chapter looks like. So um, as you can see, there are more videos here, right inside every single chapter. You don't have to watch them. If I was you, what I would do is I would try to do the homework. And if I wasn't getting it, then I would start watching videos for the stuff that I needed. You know what I mean? Because if you watch all the videos, you might not need to watch them all. You might remember most of this stuff. Here's your first quiz. This is the thing that, again, you only have two attempts. Um, so don't start it until you're ready. And let me just skip around a little bit to see if there's something that I'm missing. Nope, there's the quizzes. So I think that's pretty much it. Um, is there any questions you want to ask? Any math questions you want to ask? Okay. Um, all right. Well, if that's it, I'm going to go ahead and start um, uploading this session to YouTube so I can post it for everyone else. Um, again, get started. Make sure you get those three assignments done um, by tomorrow midnight. That, may, that way I know that you're equipped to stay in this online class. Otherwise, I'm going to see if I can switch you to something that's um, suited better for you. Um, and you're welcome. And uh, I'll see you guys later. I'm probably going to post a session for next week in the next two days or so. Okay? And look for my video to be uploaded to the discussion soon and as well as my comments back to all of you. Thanks for joining me, and I'll talk to you later.